listeners and viewers. Welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency, Malam Nasur Ahmed El Rufai is positioned as always to ensure that under his leadership, our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors, especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming Senior School Certificates examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-00545 or 080-383-62072 our website is www.education.kdsg.gov.ng. Our email, education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com. Our YouTube channel, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Our Twitter handle, at Kaduna underscore MOE. Or our Facebook page, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, my dear students at home. I am Alan Abbas Shehu, your commerce teacher. I am here to continue with our topic, advertising. In our last class, we started talking about advertising, where we talk about the meaning basic concepts used in advertising, role of advertising, types of advertising, and last but not least, method of advertising. Today we are going to have a look at media, advertising media. But before we go into that, I want us to just look at a definition that I deliberately refused to give you last time when we were talking about definition of uh, advertising. This definition has something to do with what we are going to discuss with you today. And it is as follows. Advertising is any, any paid form of non-personal communication which is directed to customers or target audience through various media in order to present and promote products, services, and ideas. Like I said, our topic today is going to be advertising media. And this definition contains advertising media because it talks about ways, various ways through products, services, and ideas are advertised. So we are going to look at the, the, the advertising media we have. We, are, we have classified them broadly into three. The first one we have is known as print or press media. The second one is uh, electric media. And the third one is what we group as miscellaneous media. Starting with the first one, which is the print or press media, it deals with the passing of information pertaining goods, pertaining services, pertaining ideas that are normally in a printed form. And we have four different means the first one is newspapers, magazines, journals, and books. Newspapers. Newspapers are printed daily, and they contain current news. Advertisers, or sellers, or companies, or firms place their adverts using this medium because of its wide circulation. We have, for example, the sun, 
the daily trust, this day, leadership, so on and so forth. Then we go to the next one, which is talking about magazines. Magazines are just like newspapers, but they are not printed daily. They are printed periodically. And they carry news too. And because they are widely read, sellers of different goods and services, ideas, advertise their products, advertise their services. We have, for example, examples of, new magazine, examples of magazines. We have uh, the, real, uh, the Real News, the Tell Magazine, The Woman, Mobile World, Motherhood, so on and so forth. Now we go to journals. Journals are like magazines, but they differ from magazines because they are normally meant for a particular group of professionals, like medicine for doctors. They are used to advertise different products, services, ideas, just like in case of newspapers, in case of magazines. We have examples of journals, Journal of Health Services, Research and Development Journal of Teaching in Physical Education, Journal of Business, Economics and Management, American Journals of Business Education. All these are examples of journals. Then we go to books. Books are normally authors in different fields. Now, advertisers or producers or suppliers or sellers place their different products in these books depending on the type of book. If the book is talking about medicine, you can see things like medical equipment. If the book is talking about education, you can see things like chalk, markers, laboratory equipment, so on and so forth being placed there. So as those that are reading the books can see those things that are advertised there and then possibly look for where to get them in order to buy them. Then we have advantages of uh, print media. Advantages of print media. When we talk about print media, we're talking about the newspapers, magazines, journals, as well as, uh, as well as the books. The first one is they appeal to general audience as well as specific groups. They appeal to general audience, means, meaning that newspapers is for everybody. Magazines is also for everybody. But journals are for specific group of people. Number two, they have wider coverage. Number three, pictures of the product are displayed in a fine color production. Pictures can be seen. Coloration can be seen. Beautification can be seen. Which will attract the potential buyers, the intending buyer or buyers. Number three, they can be stored for many days or even years. Hence, they have a relatively long life. If you buy a newspaper today, you can keep it for many weeks, for many months, for many years. You can read it over and over. And then I advantage is they provide opportunity for daily continuous advertising, like newspapers that is produced daily. If you want to, pro if you want to advertise a particular product that needs to be advertised on daily basis, you can quickly go to newspaper because it is produced on daily basis. Number six, they, pro they can be read as many times as possible. You can, they can be read over and over. The last but not the least, they provide opportunity for multiple readership. The number of people that read these newspapers, magazines, journals, books, Nobody can say their number. They provide a multiple readership. I'm talking about the advantages. Number one, they appeal to only the literate. It is only those that can read, that can read newspapers. It is only the illiterate, uh, sorry, it is only the literate, the educated class that can read newspapers, can read magazines, journals, and books as well. Number two, they are expensive in terms of cost of advertising. They cost a lot of money. You want to advertise in a newspaper, you have to pay a lot of money. The same thing applies to magazines. The same thing applies to journals. The same thing applies to books. 
Number three, magazines and journals have low frequency. Magazines and journals, they have low frequency because it is not like newspapers that are normally widely circulated and meant for everybody. Number four, they like they lack what you call immediacy. Unlike radio, that you can quickly walk into the radio house, give them what you want to advertise, and they can advertise it now and then. But in terms of newspapers, it has to wait for 24 hours. Magazines sometimes have, have to wait for a week or weeks or months before being produced. Number four, they lack, uh, number five, there is uh, limited flexibility. Their flexibility is limited. They cannot be easily changed. Unlike radio, that you can quickly go and ask them to stop because you have one thing or two to change. I was talking about uh, the, print, uh, the, the, the print media or the press media. Now we go to the second aspect, which is uh, electronic media. And this, as we can see, we have uh, classified them into four different categories. One, we have the television. Two, the radio. Three, the cinema. And the last but not the least, the internet. We will take them one by one and see what they are. Look at their advantages and disadvantages. The first one, which is uh, television. It is a means of advertising where we see what is advertised as well as here. There is the, sense, the, the use of these two sense organs. Seeing and hearing. And it's mostly used when products are newly introduced or when there is a demonstration involved in terms of how to use the product. Now we go to advantages of using television. The first one is it has a large audience reach. Number two, it is ideal for demonstration of methods of usage. Like I said, you are introducing a new product that people are not aware of that if people don't know how to use it, the best thing, the best place to do is to go to a television where people will see how you use it. The method is the method used in whatever is going to be used. Number three, it provides opportunity for both seeing and hearing. We have talked about that one already. Number four, understanding what is being advertised is made simpler and easier. You don't have to waste most, so much time trying to think of what are they trying to say because you have already seen it and at the same time hearing about it. Number five, true form and color of a product can be understood. The true form of color of a product can be easily understood, unlike in a radio where you don't see but only hear. Number six, it brings high prestige. It increases your prestige, your image. Number, five, number six, uh, seven, the last one, the, it is sensory stimulation and it gives live and direct display. Like I said, sometimes when you use your eyes to see, ears to hear, especially when goods or products advertised have something to do with what we eat, you even begin to salivate. That's talking about using your sensory organs, the tongue as well. So about, we go to the disadvantages. Number one, it is most expensive medium. Most expensive. It is most expensive medium of, of advertising. Two, it may be it may cover what you call wastage area. You may be advertising, and the people that are saying what you are advertising are not even the people that are supposed to be using it. That is wasting your resources. Number three, it leads to what you call impulse buying. Sometimes when you see them advertising in television, making a lot of coloration, beautification, music here and there, before you know it, Without intention, you will just fall into the trap of buying the, the goods. You buy unintentionally. You buy unconsciously. That's what we are talking about. We are talking about impulse buying. But in case of radio, because you don't see the product, you may not get into this trouble. 
Number four, photo tricks and exaggeration employed about the product can mislead the viewer. That's photo trick sometimes. Tricks can be played to show you the beautiful content of the product. And if you are not careful, you may fall into that trap and buy the product without having the intention of buying. Number five, only people with television can be rich. If you don't have television, you cannot see what is, it, what is being advertised there. Even when you have television, where there is a power pillow, you will not see what is there. And that is, that is the next point. Power pillow affects this medium of advertising. Number seven, it, it is prone to censorship. And number eight, the last one, it is, it is transient, not lasting for long. What is being advertised, once you see it, is gone and gone forever. Unlike newspapers that you can refer any time, any moment. Unlike magazines, unlike journals, unlike books. Now we go to radio. This is another important medium of advertising. And it's the most, it, 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 it is the commonest among all the four electronic media we have, discussed, we have said in the, at the beginning of this uh, discussion. We just go straight to advantages of radio because radio is known to everybody. It is not something that we, are, we, are, we can begin to say what it is. One, it is cheaper when compared to television. True, it has widest reception and widely available. It is widely available. Through our phones, we can even, we can even access FM radio, FM stations. Number three, it can be done in local language. Advert can be placed in local language depending on the people you are targeting. Number four, it is flexible. Flexible. You can change the advert at any moment. Any moment. You can quickly walk into the radio station, ask them that, please, I don't want this. I want this, change this. And they can do it for you. Number five, it offers good target market selectivity. Which means that you look at your target audience, you go, use the, use the, use the radio station that they mostly listen to, and push what you are selling through that particular radio station. And then we talk about uh, advantages of radio as a medium of advertising. One, pictures of products cannot be seen in the radio. You cannot see. You can only hear. Number two, there is inadequate excitement. Unlike television where you can see people, you can see the product, in radio you can only hear. And that excitement is, is not as much as, or is not as high as that of uh, television. Three, messages are, are usually short and brief because the cost, the charge is based on the minutes or time spent. The more time you spend talking, <laughs> then the more money you pay. And that's why advertisers could try as much as possible to be brief. They are usually brief. Omitting some necessary or vital information in the process. Number four, it is also prone to censorship, just like television. Number five, which is the last one, it can also lead to impulse buying. Impulse buying. Sometimes, sometimes some celebrities are employed to place the advert. Because we like them, because we like them, because, and you hear their voice, you begin to just go and buy the product even without having the intention of using that particular product. Now we go to cinema. No, this is not common these days, but it's still in existence. Therefore, we are still going to talk about it. It is just like a theater where film is shown. People pay tickets to enter. Seats are arranged with a big screen. And because people go there to watch films, watch movies, advertisers, producers of goods and services, go there, place their adverts. Their adverts are normally placed either at the beginning of the film show or during intervals. And we go to advantages of uh, 
Selima as the medium of uh, as the medium of advertising. Number one, it makes possible for us to see and hear, just like television, because there is a big screen. It is more sensitive and captivating. It is more sensitive and captivating. Do you know why? Because sometimes when it is when a particular action is about to happen that they stop the film show and then bring out the advert. So you pay attention because you, you are captivated. Number three, since youth constitutes the major audience, boost or products that are meant for the, for, for the youth can easily be advertised there. Because most people that go to cinema are youth. Number four, the benefit of last screen with magnified images makes the advertised message more real. Because there is big screen. You begin to see the product as if you are seeing the product live. Or like in a television where the screen is small. But this is big. Let's talk about the advantages. Now we go to these advantages. Number one, there is no audience reach. Only those that go there will see the advert being placed there. Number two, court in power can bring out the cut down of the film show. It is not common in rural areas. You can only find cinema in urban areas. Number four, the last one, puzzle tricks. And its creation can be deceptive, just like in case of television. Now we go to internet. This is a, this is a recently introduced medium of advertising, and it is uh, very, very effective. Different products, services, ideas are advertised through the use of Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Now look at, let's look at the advantages. One, easy access of the server. It is easy to access. With, with a little data, you can access the internet and see different things there. Two, it costs less. Just buy data. You, you access. Number three, it has wider coverage. Only, only God knows the number of people that will see what you are advertising, especially when you are using the Twitter, using YouTube. Number four, the last one, it, it is easy to communicate. You can communicate there, even, even when it means using local language, depending on who you are targeting. Or even broken English, depending on who you are targeting. The most important thing is for us, is for you to reach down to who you are targeting and for them to understand the message what you are trying to send to them. Now, advantages. Ah, number one, it is front to fraud. Cyber crime. Number two, there is sometimes identity theft. Somebody can steal your identity and be using your name to advertise on your behalf. It can only reach people who can read and write. There is sometimes lack of internet access. Network. Slow in terms of network can bring a problem to this. I'm not talking about uh, the disadvantages of uh, internet as a means of advertising. Now, before we conclude this class, it's important for us to just uh, quickly summarize what we have just said. In the course of this class, we are, we, are, we are able to see that we have old advertising media is broadly classified into three. We talk about the print media, or what is called the press media, under which we have newspapers, magazines, journals, and books. We're equally able to discuss their advantages and disadvantages. We're also able to discuss what we mean by electronic media that constitutes television, radio, cinema, and internet. And we're equally able to discuss advantages and disadvantages of each. Now, in our next class, we are going to look at the third category, which is going to be what we call miscellaneous media. 
that constitute other minor minor medium or media. We'll take a look at we'll take a look at those ones one after the other. Before I go, there is an assignment for you, my dear students. And the assignment is not difficult, it's just simple. And it says, state two advantages of using the following media of advertising. Number one, or what you call A, television, B, radio, C, cinema, D, newspapers, E, magazines, and then F, journals. Again, state two advantages of using the following media of advertising. Number one, television. B, or rather A, television. B, radio. C, cinema. D, newspapers. A, magazines. And F, journals. If you are able to do this assignment, send the assignment to my number, which is uh, about Shehu 081-00127-508. Or my colleague, by name, Madam Azena Karim on this number, 080-328-47167. Again, Abbas Shehu, 081-00127-505. Zainab Abdel Karim, 080-328-7167. Stay home, stay safe. Follow the simple instructions of cleaning your hands all the time. Wearing your face mask, keeping social and physical distance, so on and so forth. Wish you the best. See you in our next class.